Good morning. Good morning. The test we are going to study is a teacher who changed my life. Teachers, especially the good ones, are some of the most important person in our lives. They influence our education, our outlook on life, and decisions we make. Since the first day you enter school, you have a lot of teachers. And in your opinion, what are the qualities of a good teacher? Responsible and patient. Responsible, patient, very good. Informed and enthusiastic. Very good. Informed, enthusiastic, excellent. And thoughtful and considerate. Thoughtful and considerate, very good. Inspirational. Inspirational. All these words are good, great words to describe the quality of a good teacher. However, there are also some teachers come up in the life to influence the students with special qualities. Like the teacher we are going to write today, he even changed the life of his student. So you must be very curious about him. Let's say, how did he influence the student? And what kind of the teacher was him? In the meanwhile, we are going to understand the development of the scene, explore the method of characterization, and appreciate the language. Okay, let's get the first question. How did Professor Moore influence the student? Actually, this question is closely related to the structure of the article. Let's do the group reading to find it out. Okay, everyone, I'm going to divide you into four groups. Uh, each group will be assigned with one or two paragraphs. Please look for the keywords which can answer the question, what can I learn or gain from most teaching? You are group one, you are group two, and group three, and group four. All right, I give you one million. Please look for the keywords which can answer the question. Okay, time's up. Group one. What are the keywords in found in paragraph two and three? Uh, in paragraph two, uh, his confidence in me was inspiring. Uh, here is the uh, inspiration. And in paragraph three, uh, he had a role in independent of uh, thought. That is independent thinking. Very good inspirational and independent thinking. Very good. Group two, what are the key words you found in paragraph four? Um, through this passage, and our group discussion is about the critical thinking. Uh, it's, uh, he was clearly engaged with the text and uh, he readily transferred the engagement to his students. And the second one is, uh, I still occasionally uh, reread those drafts and uh, to remind myself what it means to think critically and to write well. Very good. That is the engagement and critical thinking. Group 3, what are the keywords you found in paragraph 5 and 6? Through the discussion, we have concluded that uh, Mr. Morse taught us how to think critically, speak coherently and write concisely. So, uh, our conclusion is critical thinking, coherent speaking, and concise writing. Excellent. Critical thinking, coherent speaking, and concise writing. Okay, let's move on to the last group. Group 4, what are the key words you found in paragraph 7 and 8? Uh, in paragraph five, 7 and in paragraph 8, uh, the key words are the following. The critical thinking, respect for the different opinions, and confidence for sharing thoughts. Excellent. Respect for different opinions and have the confidence to share the thought. All these qualities made me a better person, which got me to think about the question, how should one live in the world? Professor Moore teaches a student to think critically about the world and have the courage to live in it. Okay, let's move on to the second question. What kind of the teacher was Moore? Most is the character in the story, and the method of creating character is called characterization. Characterization is applied in the dramatic work of art, writing, and everyday conversation. It's a very important method. But how to create vivid character? To answer this question, I would like to take a very famous character as an example. Everyone, please look at the picture. The lady in the picture is called this is the little. The protagonist of my fair lady, a highly successful musician in the 1956. Please watch the video clip to see how impressive 
she is. Oh, 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 oh. Higgins, where do you stay? At the Carlton. No, you're not. You're staying at 27A Wimpole Street. Oh. You come along with me. We'll have a little jaw over supper. Right you are. Indian dialects have always fascinated Why, me. Why, flower kind, sir? I'm short for me lodging. Liar. You said you could change half a crown. You ought to be stuffed with nails, you ought. Here, take the old blooming basket for sixpence. A reminder. How many are there, actually? How many what? Uh, Indian dialects. No fewer than 147 distinct languages are recorded as vernacular. <sighs> Shouldn't we... Her image hides widely regarded as a world classic. So from this video clip, do you think is she rich? No. Is she well educated? No. Is she attractive? No. no. Why and how can you tell? From her language and behavior and appearance. Language, behavior, appearance. Very good. What else? People's reaction. Reaction of others. Very good. So we can say that she is not rich, ill educated, unattractive through the description of her behavior, action, dialogue, appearance, and reaction of people around her. So in creating and developing a character, normally a writer has two basic methods. The one is the direct characterization, which relies on the direct commentary by the author. Another one that is the indirect or showing which allow the character to reveal themselves directly through the action and dialogue. Normally, a writer has these two basic methods to create and develop the characters. And our story is of no exception. I will take the paragraph two as an example. Please read the paragraph two. I think about three questions. The first one, what are the qualities of moths? Second, what method does the author employ to reveal this quality? Third, are the masters primary of showing or telling? Please look at the sentence one. I had no business in the upper level class and my presence here was largely due to the register mishap. But for some reason, Bill let me stay. In the context, we can guess the meaning of the mishap means accent. And is the method of Showing or telling? Showing. Showing, very good. Since it's a showing, indirect characterization, what can you tell from the sentence? Did you know very good. I was in his class by accident, but he let me stay, indicating he's very considerate and thoughtful. Very good. Let's move on to the another sentence. I was scared the first day when he told us to arrange our chairs in a circle. So in this sentence, is a method is of showing or telling? Showing. Showing. What does it imply? Yes. He is very inspirational and creative in conducting his class. And what else? Very good. He invite the students to fully engage in the class. Very good. Okay, another example. Regardless, his confidence in me was inspiring. So in this sentence, is a method is of showing or telling? Telling. Telling. We get the confidence quality of more through the direct commentary by the author. So to sum up. We analyze how did Professor Moore influence the students by exploring the development of the thing. We understand what kind of the teacher was Moore by exploring characterization. And we understand the qualities of a good teacher by critical thinking and discussion. I have some homework for you. Please read the rest of the paragraph and find more sentences of both direct and indirect characterization. And please limitate the style of the article I write the teacher who influenced me the most. For the further reading, I strongly recommend it 
to read my teacher writing by Helen Kellen and think about the question, what does a teacher mean to his student? Okay, that is the very end of the class and thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Thank you.